Hello everybody and welcome to another mystery box function challenge. In the purple mystery box there is some math and your challenge is to figure out what it is. You can use the link in the description to try this out on your own and when you've got an idea come on back see if we get the same thing. All right I'm going to start with a zero. Okay so zero is 27 how about a one? Oh 81. Hmm, so we're already way off the graph. Let's just try a three. Okay, that's what I was expecting. So I have an idea about this one already. Let me go into the negatives. That's a nine and a negative two. It gives us a three and a negative three. Gives us a one. Okay, that's what I was thinking. I'm just going to go a little further. I'm going to say, let's say a negative five. Yeah, and maybe a negative nine. So you should recognize this shape by now. We've seen enough of these exponentials. What's going on here, though, is that it looks like it's been moved. Well, it looks like it's been moved to the to the left a little bit. Um, What's the base of our of our exponential function here? Well, I think that's three, because when we um, oh, oh, here all of these are powers of three. We have one. That's a special point to keep uh, in mind. And then we have three and nine. And then actually these are out of order now. But I'd go up to then 27, then 81. So that's three to the first, three to the second, three to the third, three to the fourth, three to the fifth, etc. And these are powers of nine too. It's uh, at negative five here. We got 0.1 repeating. That's the the decimal for one ninth. So I think we've got three to the x, except it's not three to the x. It's been moved over. And in this case, we want to look at this point where um, the function equals one, because that's going to be where three is to the zero power. Anything to the zero power equals one. We put in a negative three to get that value. So what that means is we're adding three, right? So if you had three to the, and we put in negative three, for x and then we added 3 that would be 3 to the 0 or 1 and that's what we're getting there you might want to test that with another um, uh, point let's try 1 so 3 to the x plus sorry 3 to the 1 plus 3 well that'd be 3 to the fourth ah, and that is 81 so I think we've got this one it's uh, that plus 3 in our exponent to move it over to the left by 3 let's go ahead and reveal yeah 3 to the x plus 3 and let's graph and there it is, that classic exponential shape just moved over a few uh, units to the left. Well, how did that go for you? Were you thinking exponential? Let me know. Thanks, everybody.